A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to create PDF from any file using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So, in order to do the exercise, we will start the tool here, and you will see this is the default option. And here we are in the Home tab, and now we will go to the Tools tab by just pressing it once, and we will see now this is activated tab and the first option is the create PDF and we will click it and you will see another uh, option set of options you can see over here so we will start with the single file and in the single file what does it mean is that you can convert file like uh, word file in the DOCX or uh, like Excel file xlsx or uh, some kind of text file or various other format you can convert those format to the pdf and there are multiple existing way but we are trying to demonstrate using adobe acrobat pro dc so here i'm trying to open a word file i'm going to drop it here you can see i'm dropping it here and it is trying to convert it and you will see it has converted that a word file to the PDF and you can see it is here you can do the same thing by uh, just saving it as uh, as a PDF and for that you don't even need Adobe Acrobat 4DC so it's good to show that way also I'm going to save it as save as and here is the option we will click instead of word document we will select pdf and we'll just select save and you will see again it is opened it is saved as a pdf so that is another additional way of converting a word file or any text file to a pdf now we'll go back to the previous option and we will go to the multiple option and in the multiple option you will see a multiple option and the first option is the combined files so here what you can do if we have a different file set like text file excel file or word file or autocad file you can convert everything together into a pdf so in it will convert it and it will combine it as well so i'm going to keep it selected and select next and it is asking to drop the file so here i'm going to select one text file and one word file which I'm going to drop it here just drop it there you will see this is the word file and this is the text file and now what you can do is just press combine and you will see error message this message is because the word file is open so I'm going to close it and here I have closed it and I'll press retry. As it get convert, gets converted, you will see a tick mark there. And now we will see it is already converted and combined as well. And the file name is binder1. You can save it by pressing save option or you can discard it by just pressing this button. So I'm going to discard it. I'm not, I'm not going to save it click no and then we'll go on we'll go back to the previous option and multiple option and now we will go to the create multiple files and in this way what you can do is you can convert various file types as an individual pdf file like if you have uh, 20 autocad drawings or 20 word file and you would like to convert each as an individual pdf file then you can select everything together and it will convert all the files in one go. So again, uh, keep it selected, select next and drop those two files here I'm going to select. Again, same two files, one is a word, another is a text file. And I'm going to press OK. If you want to do the adjustment, you can press remove and then you can re-add it. Here I'm set, so I'm going to press OK. After pressing OK, we'll see another box appear which talks about the target folder. So after files are getting converted, where they will be saved. So first option is that it's the same folder. Our second option is that if you want to save it as some other folder, so you can select it and define the path. 
by here but I'm going to select the same folder so I'll keep it selected first one second option is about the file naming it says that first option is that the file name example the the file name was example dot docx then the converted file name if you want to be example dot pdf then keep the original file name same but if you want to make it a change like imagine if you want to add something sl in the beginning of the file name and we want to add something as uh, some another text after the file you can select this and click ok now i will see it will convert everything and it will save at the original folder and you will see it has saved here i'm going to show it here by opening it you will see that it has added another name in front of the file name sl and in the later also they have added a word a text convert similarly for the text file also they have added sl and that when you can't see it here but it has in fact it has added those uh, text after the file name so i'm going to close it and go back to the previous option multiple files and third option is the create a pdf portfolio so here you will see the create pdf portfolio and combined files are more or less similar except one key difference here both combine it together in the first option and they convert into pdf and then combine it together in the pdf portfolio that each and every individual file maintain its individuality if it is a word file it will remain as a word file if it is a pdf file it will remain as a pdf file if it is a text file it will remain as a text file but it all will combine together and it will present it as a portfolio so i'm going to select it and create next press next and you will see the option i'm going to drop here three file one is the pdf word and text word pdf and text i'm going to create press create again if you want to remove it just use the remove option if you want to add something more if you want to add some images you can do it press create and you will see the portfolio is created here you will see these all three files the file name is portfolio one you will see the word file you will see the pdf file you will see the text file if you want to save it this word for te i mean word file just select it and just save it it will you will get the the original word file which you have added in the portfolio so that is all about adding a file in the portfolio i'm not going to save it i'm just going to discard it go back to the previous option create pdf and i will go to the scanner option which at the moment I don't have a scanner option so I may not be able to show you that option but some kind of uh, a color setting kind of uh, quality of the quality of the scan that is all about now we'll move to the web page and I'm going to convert one web file web address I'm going to select it here you will see a advanced setting if you press it something like uh, what kind of file type you need uh, then the some kind of size of the pages some spacing so i'm not very much interested in changing those values i will remain it as a normal and i will just press create now it is trying to fetch the data from the website and it will convert in the pdf in just maybe fraction of seconds so here you have the converted uh, PDF of that uh, web address and you will see the same thing if you want to save it again press it this save it if you don't want to just discard it again I will go back to the previous tools option create PDF and again now we are going to talk about uh, creating PDF from the clipboard and clipboard is something or some kind of uh, something which you have copied but you have not pasted it so it remain on the clipboard group so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to open a word file here this is the word file i'm going to select this all text by just copying now when it when i copy it it remains on the clipboard actually it has not pasted anywhere 
so now when we convert uh, want to convert this text which is there in the clipboard we can select this clipboard option and just press create and then wait for a few seconds and here you have the same file what we have copied here what file we have copied in the word file it is there as a as a clipboard PDF if you want to again save it just press here if you don't want to just press this to discard it last and final option is all about the blank page so we will select blank page and create and you will see a blank text document has appeared if you want to write something just right click and add text you will see and if you want to write something something like that sorry it's a book not so you can write like a word file there are multiple option here which I'm not going to discuss right now you can just select it if you want to highlight it you can do the highlighting here also just select it highlight it and you whatever you want to do you can do over here so that is all about uh, creating various uh, PDF file from the various formats how you have found the video please do write in the comment section and if you have liked it please do like and share for more videos please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the upcoming videos with this i will say goodbye and see you soon